Listen, hangovers happen. Even though we know drinking in moderation is always the right answer, sometimes you just get caught up in the fun of happy hour. So the symptoms of a hangover are multiple because alcohol affects normal human physiology on multiple levels. So for example, a lot of people associate headaches with hangovers, and this can be the result of one of the breakdown products of alcohol. As soon as your liver starts breaking it down, it forms uh, acetaldehyde. And acetaldehyde itself can cause headaches and cause nausea. And as the alcohol makes its way further down the digestive tract into the small intestine, it can slow down the body's ability to absorb water. So if there's more water in the intestine, some people get diarrhea. Another side effect that people get is the feeling of fatigue, brain fog, malaise. But sometimes a drink or two helps me doze off. So how can it make me tired, but also keep me from getting good sleep? What is going on there? Alcohol inhibits normal human sleep cycles. So if you're not getting restful sleep, although alcohol does make you sleepy, you don't get into those deep restorative sleep cycles. And so you still wake up feeling fatigued. Let's talk about dealing with a hangover because happy hour with friends is fun, but that headache the next day is not. Because alcohol is a diuretic, it makes you feel very dehydrated and the dehydration can be at least part of the hangover symptoms you're having. So you wanna to try to hydrate well and that might help get your fluids uh, restored. And for headaches, some people like to do Tylenol or Advil, probably a single dose with a full glass of water won't hurt too much and it might help your headache a little. But what about preventing it altogether? Everyone knows that rhyme, beer before liquor, never been sicker. But is there actually any truth to that? Can switching the order of my drinks help me avoid a hangover? I don't think that necessarily it's the order as much as the type and the volume of the alcohol that you're consuming. Okay, so no go on the beer before liquor rhyme. But are there any liquors less risky than whiskey? So there are a few rules of thumb for alcohols that are less likely to cause a hangover. The lighter alcohols are gonna be less problematic than the darker ones. So things like bourbon and red wine, those are darker alcohols and they contain more congeners, which are additives or naturally occurring substances in certain types of alcohol that increase your likelihood of a hangover. Vodka and gin tend to have the lowest level of congeners. Uh, so if you're choosing and selecting, that might be something to keep in mind. Is there anything we can do during happy hour to give our future selves a little self-care? I would recommend first eating a full meal. If you have a full meal, you reduce the rate at which your body's absorbing the alcohol, so it goes more slowly into the bloodstream, so that would help. Another step would be to alternate one alcoholic beverage with a full glass of water in between each alcoholic beverage to reduce the dehydration piece. Um, another step would be to choose which type of alcohol you're gonna drink, knowing that the darker type of alcohols, such as bourbon and whiskey and red wine, are going to have more congeners and perhaps lead more to hangover symptoms than the clearer alcohols. Hey, one last thing. We recommend drinking in moderation. Excess alcohol consumption can lead to liver disease, which is a very serious and potentially life-threatening health condition. For those who have perhaps found themselves exceeding alcohol consumption uh, repeatedly, there are many resources available.